did a night here at uh, this is called the Spillway Campground, Lake Pleasant. And I just wanted to come check it out and see what it was like. I came to do some night fishing and found out that they don't allow any shoreline camping anymore at Lake Pleasant. I was kind of disappointed to find that out. I was hoping to get a spot right down by the water. But hey, if you like this video, hit like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you'll be notified when I put out more videos. But I'll show you around uh, the Spillway Campground here at Lake Pleasant. Let's go. Garbage pickup. So someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two.
this is the Spillway Campground. And I've got, uh, they actually got assigned sites. I have spot 219, but I scooted down a little bit because I didn't want to be right next to anybody. But uh, it's a beautiful morning. The sun's coming up. Got a few people out here camping. I've got about, what, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, about a dozen campsites here. I don't know if he's in a campsite over there or what the heck. I assume that's kind of a campsite. He decided to run his generator last night till midnight though. That kind of uh, was a little bit annoying. But at least it was a quiet generator. The nice thing about this campground is you're pretty close to the water even when the water's low. Yep, garbage pickup. So there's the lake and right now the lake is going down. keep going down for about another month and then it'll start coming back up again. It used to be you could camp on those uh, little uh, peninsulas but nope they don't let you do that anymore. Kind of surprised me. Had some coyotes last night. Little coyotes came running through here and went down to the water. Got little fire pits, or at least a couple of them have fire pits. And go on down the road. I was kind of disappointed that you couldn't shoreline camp. Um, I think we came here about three and a half years ago. And you could camp at the north end of the lake up there by the shore. And nope, no more. Unless you go down to the shoreline and do that. Which is a bummer because it was really fun. Well, I guess this is what they call primitive camping. Yeah. There's the little campground right here. Right now I'm in 220. But this is it. This is the only uh, shoreline area that you can re you can reserve these. You can go online and reserve these. There's also some other uh, spots up a little higher, but these are real close to the lake, water access. And let's see, show you here. All right, there it is. And it costs $15. So if you want to come in, it's 15 bucks. You can get the shoreline camping. But, uh, it's not bad. There's enough room here for some long trailers, as you can see. Uh, no hookups, though. But they do have a little, uh, uh, a little porta potty over there that you can use. Uh, this is the part that's kind of annoying. You have to uh, open this gate. I give you a little padlock combination for the padlock here, but it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. So what you do is you just have to do that. Ooh. part yeah you got it yeah thank you very much yep, no problem. Thank you. well that was nice huh? garbage 
So it used to be you could go down there and camp. Pull your motor home or your camper down by the water there and just camp, but no, nope, we don't let you do that anymore. Kind of a shame. It's a beautiful day. There's the other campground over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's another little campground over there. Just up that way is a Desert Tortoise Campground. And Roadrunner is over behind me. See, there's, see all of these spots here. You can, all these spots here you can camp on. Now they have a picnic area right here that you can use for the day. It's a day use area. Sunset. Closed at sunset. 